Hello again, Sylvia here today. Hope you're doing great. So today I'm going to talk to you about time management. So do you feel like you're managing your time properly? And especially the young ones, for example, are you uh, spending too much time maybe on the social media? And even the older ones, uh, do you feel like you're managing your time properly? And for those who are even more busy, are you organizing your time in the best way possible? Do you feel like time is never enough? Or do you feel like you're having too much time? So today I'm going to talk especially to those who feel like they have too much time and not too um, much to do. Or time that things that they're doing isn't bringing so much over profit or is it good to you? in a way. So um, for me, I like to think that time is really precious and especially when you're doing something that you're passionate about. When you are full force into producing something that you want to achieve something at the end, like your goals. Uh, if you feel you're working towards them, then you almost feel like you do not have time. So you have to plan out everything and, you know, put in place uh, a daily uh, practice that enables you to come out of your day when you look at it and ask yourself, have I done this, have I done this, am I satisfied with this day or am I not satisfied? And above all, have I lived, have I enjoyed it? So um, I will give you my example of uh, like my day. Not really my day, but how I organize myself in such a way that I'm able to uh, accomplish many things and at the same time by planning it. And so there are five uh, things that I like to um, my um, my my program, my business program taught me to do is uh, having the five daily practices. So uh, in the morning, being able to visualize. Um, my dreams, visualize my goals uh, first and foremost, and then because it gives you the, 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 the energy and the drive to be able to work towards, you know, those goals. So second is um, exercising. Are you doing something to keep yourself and your body healthy? And when you try, even if it's just 10, 15 minutes, for example, you do a yoga session or you do meditation. Meditation like helps like immensely. And so if you're able to just get something on YouTube that enables you to do meditation that is amazing, it will do you great good. Um, or run, go for a run or do some exercises. I personally take some uh, ex you know, fitness uh, that is just lasting 37 minutes it does me good and it's amazing or sometimes I decide to take a walk especially lately my knees have been killing me and that's why I put on a little bit of weight but it's fine so I have been walking so much like I take an hour walk and I listen to something powerful at the same time and, th and third thing is you always have to take time to listen to something powerful uh, listen to an audiobook or read a, 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 an amazing book. Uh, I can give you examples of my best books. Uh, my best author is uh, Robert Kiyosaki. I love his books very much, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, or um, if you read uh, Before You Quit Your Work, or if you read Increasing Your Financial IQ, which is my favorite. And so try and find uh, an author that you're going to love, that you're going to accompany yourself with. They say you are the, f the five people you surround yourself with. So if you surround yourself with uh, like uh, nine poor people, you are going to be the tenth poorest. So it means that if you are give, surrounding yourself with the people who give you some drive force, people who, you know, motivate you, make you feel you have to up and up your game, then you even just become better and better at whatever you do. And so if you do not have these people, take the books. And, you know, you listen to powerful talks. I love listening to Steve Harvey, Oprah, Obama. You know, YouTube gives you all these possibilities to be able to listen to and be able to grow. 
And so it, I the um, that was the third uh, point on uh, the five lists uh, to do. And then on the fourth uh, part of what to do is are you towards working towards your goals? Are you putting in everything? Are you doing everything or whatever it takes to get you to point from point A to point B so that you are able to achieve these goals? And if you are, this is what you need now to put the rest of the time into, like let's say maybe three hours or something of the sort. And the fifth uh, one is uh, making sure that you find moment to enjoy yourself. Have you taken a moment to be with your loved ones? Have you uh, taken a moment to just fulfill, feeling fulfilled with with your day or with what you have done and being um not being being grateful for yourself to yourself to all those around you and the minute you become grateful and appreciate every little thing you have done you have lived today you did not think of the past you are not thinking of tomorrow as much as you are working towards tomorrow. So if you're able to put these five practices on a daily basis, it makes you uh, work towards being a balanced person. And being balanced, it's everywhere. Being balanced in the sense that you are able to balance your work life, your um, social life, and your individual life as a person. And so if you are able to use your time properly, then you find the perfect balance. So work at getting that perfect balance and all the best.